guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm so excited to quickly share with you my recipe for fresh fruit popsicles. If you are anything like me, then you constantly have to have something ice cold on hand in the summer months. I mean, in New Jersey right now, this morning was almost 98 degrees Fahrenheit, and it was so hot out, I felt like if I opened up my front door, my smoke alarm would go off because the heat it was just unbelievable. So when it comes to uh, popsicles and, and anything like that really, I always prefer to make them uh, myself only because if I'm eating something like popsicles or iced coffee or anything like that all day, I don't want to be eating something that's full of sugar all day. So which is why I always make my own because they're easy to make. I use fresh fruit or whatever I've got really. The base for my like, you know, uh, icy part, I should say, is watermelon, fresh watermelon and strawberries. Then I've got some fresh fruit, I've got kiwi, sliced strawberry, fresh blueberries, a little bit of lemon, a small touch of honey, and just a little bit of water. That's it. You can use whatever fruit you like. I mean, it's completely up to you. If you know me in real life, then you know I'm obsessed with watermelon and I eat it every single day during the hot months. So that's the base that I use and I love. So in my blender, I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this. It really doesn't. I'm going to add in my watermelon and strawberries. Oops. A very small amount of honey. Maybe about a tablespoon. This is a new packet, a new bottle, I should say. Maybe about a tablespoon. And you know what? You may not even need it, depending on how sweet your fruit is. My watermelon isn't really sweet right now, so I'm just going to add about a tablespoon to the whole thing. Plenty. And that's going to really add a little bit of sweetness. A little squeeze of lemon over my fingers to catch little seeds. And then just a splash of water to get everything going. And that's really it. I've got my sieve here because I'm going to strain this lid on, turn this baby on. I'm going to hit the whole juice button, but you know, anything, just turn your blender on and make sure that this is really nice and smooth. Let it go. Awesome. I'm going to just strain this in case there's just any seeds or anything. I really kind of want this to be super smooth. Oh, yes. Awesome. Smells so, so good. And by the way, just want to point this out. Put a straw in there, and you've got a great summer drink. Put a little bit of vodka in there, you've got a great adult summer drink. Whatever tickles your fancy. Now, what I've got here is a popsicle mold. Popsicle mold stand. I just might get mine online. I'll try to link it below if I can find it. I got this last year, so I'm not so sure if they still have the same one, but you know. Anything will do. What I do, and it really is in no particular order, there's no real measurements for this, I just kind of layer fresh fruit in there just because I like the way it looks. I've been seeing this all over the net lately. All over the net. <laughs> what am I, 60? <laughs> my grandma would probably say, hey, she's funny. Anyways, layer some fresh fruit in there. I really love kiwi, so I like to put a little extra in there. I've got some fresh sliced strawberries, can't go wrong with those. And I just got some fresh blueberries and just put a couple on each one. It's a little something sweet, it looks good. I'm telling you right now, these are, well they're not dangerous because it's not like you're eating something bad all day, but they're needed in the summer months. I can need something cold all day. Otherwise, I'm just running on iced coffee, and that's not always, not always good. A few blueberries, so you get the drill. Some grapes would be great in here. Oops, lost a blueberry. Some um, cherries would be fantastic in here. Mango, you name it. And then just pour your watermelon juice mixture, like three quarters of the way up. A little bit more than three quarters, but that's okay. Don't mind the spillage, I'm gonna clean this up. And then just put your little lid in, and you're good to go. Now what I'm gonna do with the rest of that is exactly what I said I was gonna do. I was gonna make my and my husband a little adult beverage while these freeze, and while we relax a bit, because it is hot out. And these are gonna freeze up, and they're gonna be delicious, and I will show you what they look like when they're there. They'll take about six or seven hours to be completely frozen. I just threw them the night before, or like right now, I, you know, it's early, so later on I'll show you what they look like. If I can get this last one on here. Wait, 
I'm gonna just clean this mold up a little bit, pop it in the freezer, and I'll show you what they look like when they are done. I let my popsicles sit overnight in the freezer. Now, what I do, mm, what I do to always ensure that they come out really easy is I take a cup of hot water, take one out, dip it in, and it comes out like, I don't even know what to say, I just wanna eat this. It's slightly embarrassing, but it's so good. It's really good, it's really refreshing, it's really sweet. This, to be honest, because I, I'm always honest with you guys, this is a little too sweet for me. I went a little too heavy on the honey, but that's because I went a little too heavy on the honey. So I always suggest you taste your fruit. If your fruit is really sweet, which my watermelon really wasn't, then don't even bother adding any sugar or honey. But it's good, real good. What I love most about these is the million different ways you can change things up. And the fact that you can have something beautiful and fresh and good for you and on the go, and cold all summer long in your hand is just out of this world. Head on over to LauraInDenKitchen.com to get the written recipe, even though you really don't need one. But you should go go on LauraInDenKitchen.com to see what you can serve uh, to serve these with, we can make to serve these with. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me, guys. Let me know down below any sort of favorite combinations you like for your popsicles. And if you do try them, let me know what you think of them. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.